in the darkness. <laughs> Light up the night. Hey. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Ready to go. Hey folks, welcome back to Salty Locks. Today I'm going to review the Big Blue VTL 3800P Video Tech Dive Light. If you're an avid diver, stick around to find out why you need this light in your dive bag. Perfect for night dives and even better for underwater video. I decided to review this light because it was very difficult to find a review online when I was in the middle of uh, doing research to purchase my replacement dive light. I eventually decided to go with the Big Blue VTL 3800P. It allows you in the same dive to be able to shoot video with the wide beam and still get a great penetrating narrow beam, which helps when you are night diving. So it's one light that provides you with two different types of beams. There is a built-in battery level indicator light right at the switch. It starts with the color blue, then it progresses to green, and then you'll see red when your battery is low. In the extra wide beam setting of 120 degrees, the flashlight produces 3,800 lumens of light which is what you are viewing right here. This is the widespread light that's not concentrated, that is really great for taking pictures and video. The 10 degree narrow beam comes out to 1200 lumens. You also have a red light mode for staging your photos and video. That is 100 lumen. This feature is especially effective at night when most night critters tend to recoil from a white light. Marine life is more approachable using a red light to focus your camera, which allows you to get closer and get the shot you want. The rechargeable battery gives you about one and a half hours on the highest settings. I will go ahead and flip through the different modes so that you can see what options are available to you. Now, in order to change the beam, you have to click on the button consecutively. We'll start with the wide beam. This is the brightest feature on the flashlight. So we go from the highest and then we click next level down, next level down, next level down until it goes off. In order to get the narrow beam, which is a spotlight beam you would normally use on a night dive, you just press and hold for about two to, two to three seconds. Once you press again, it will give you the wide beam. And if you uh, wait in between, when you press it again, it will go off. In order to get the red beam, all you have to do is double tap. Now take a look at what it looks like underwater. Here are the lights that it uses on the highest setting. Then we'll go to red beam. Back to the highest setting and then to the narrow beam, which utilizes the LEDs on the inside for a concentrated lighting. Back to the high setting and then we'll just go down a level each time with one press of the button until it's off. So in total, there are four levels of brightness for the flood beam mode, one level of brightness for the spot beam mode, and one level of brightness for red color mode, controlled by the reliable push button design. This light also comes with a removable yellow filter, which enhances warmer color tones. It comes along with a uh, outdoor dry bag, which you can use to uh, house all the items that come along with the flashlight, which include a rechargeable battery and a sturdy glove for hands-free operation underwater. Comes in really handy during uh, your diving when your hands are occupied with other items. 
All in all, this is a really great frost shite and I would recommend it for anyone diving, especially at night. If you're interested, I'll leave my affiliate link to this big blue dive light in the description below. Click on the top video to see how we manage to avoid hungry sharks. What's your go-to dive light? Let me know in the comment section below.